Hi everyone and welcome to New Bear. Today we're talking about split chains. Split chains are used to climb from one round to another without the need to cut and hide ends. If we were working a round that looks something like this, because round two connects in the middle of the chain in round one, we either have to finish our chain for round one at the base of the ring and start again for round two, or we can use a split chain. Using a split chain is going to bring us back to the middle of the last chain, leaving our threads in the perfect position to climb out and start round two. My blue and orange motif is from a previous video, but it serves today's purpose. So I've just tied new thread to the pico. We're going to pretend that I've chained the whole way around and now we're ready for our last chain being a split chain. To make a split chain, work the first half of the chain as normal. Leave a bare thread space about three quarters of the length of the remaining chain and lock join to the next element. So before you pull that lock join down, make sure you've got bare thread space. This bare thread becomes the core thread for the second half of our split chain. Our double stitches will be worked on here. So the reason our bare thread space is only about three quarters of the length of the remaining chain is because this bare thread, which is now our core thread, will pull away and stretch as we work our stitches for the second half. Turn your work. Holding your work between your middle finger and your thumb, wrap the thread over your index finger and behind your work. This is loop one. Reach under the core thread, pull up a loop. This is loop two. Pass your shuttle through loop two. Pull it down just enough to secure this loop but keep it loose we don't want it tight now we're going to pull on loop one to make loop two pop through to the back pulling loop two up while we release loop one creates the first half of our stitch pass your shuttle through loop two and pull it down to create the second half of our stitch. Now that our threads are in the correct position, we can start the next round without having to tie off and hide ends. I normally work with two different colours when I film my videos because it makes it easier for you to follow what's happening. There's another reason for the two colours today and that's to show what happens when we work a split chain using two colours or if we used a variegated thread. Remember that our core thread is lock joined here 
and then used to make the stitches for the second half of the chain, giving us a two coloured chain. Even if we had the same variegated thread in both shuttles, it's highly unlikely that the variegation would match up. It's just something to keep in mind if your pattern calls for split chains. I hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time.